Did you know there are 48.5 million people living below the poverty line? In the state of Illinois, 1.9 million people live under the poverty line, and almost 50,000 of those live in Lake County alone. The poverty level for a family of four is below $22,000. The poverty rate in Lake County has been on the rise because even a small financial emergency can cause a family on the fringe to plunge into poverty. To me, the WISH project, it's all about giving. It's a feel good. It's, it's good. It feels good to know that I'm doing something to help somebody else. Because you see it over and over and over again, the same moment is when the people come in and they see the just massive amounts of gifts that have been accumulated, seeing the little kids, normally kids between like three and nine, just go insane and just seeing those kids. And it happens, you know, I've probably seen hundreds of kids get that excited. So that's what's really fun and, uh, and my favorite part about it. A couple years ago, we did pizza for the dinner during the Wish dinner, and um, we, we got so many pizzas. So we were just giving pizzas to people to take home to their families on top of the presents that they were already getting. And I had one woman come up to me, and she was just like, thank you so much. Like, I now have dinner for my family and presents, and it's amazing, and I felt really, really good. When a little boy came in and was so excited that he was finally going to get a bike that he's never had, and um, you know the reactions are just unbelievable and so heartfelt that you want to just keep giving more and more. That's what keeps me coming back, seeing that they're grateful. For three or four weeks, we're obsessed around here with getting money and getting gifts, and I think it's kind of a, a neat thing to be obsessed with, <laughs> helping someone else. Fundraising, it's always it's a necessary evil in um, helping out other people, but it gets really fun with the Wish Project because everybody's selling like tons of baked goods and bringing in like Jamba Juice and Chipotle. It's awesome because everybody gets food. Every year there's a new creative idea. So for example, last year we had a raffle. I don't think you can call it a raffle, but we had um, uh, an opportunity for kids to win a free cookie every day from the cafeteria. So one of my students went, got a donation from uh, the cafeteria and had a big, you know, put it in a pot for a donation and then they drew a name and that student got a free cookie every day for the rest of the semester. We have been able to run a babysitting uh, day for parents to go out and Christmas shop and we have all their kids here uh, and we provide uh, a snack, a drink, a movie, uh, the gymnasium and arts and crafts for the afternoon. So we've done that. That was real successful and a lot of fun. My class uh, was, I didn't think they were very inspired that year. so. One day I said, if you guys raise X amount of dollars, uh, I'll dye my hair pink. So uh, they did. That was inspiration enough, you know, it caused me a little grief. Uh, they raised the money. I think I went too cheap. In the future, I'd be way more, more expensive. Um, but I will tell you this, gray hair absorbs temporary dye permanently. So I had pink hair for a long time. Uh, it's really hard to say what poverty and hunger look like because the people coming through the door the night of the wish dinner are very diverse and you see people of various ages and various ethnicities and they can be happy or sad. It doesn't really, there's no consistency so you really don't know by looking at someone what they're experiencing. I had a Spanish, uh, a Spanish speaking family come in and I don't speak Spanish, so I asked a student of mine and her mom to come in to be my interpreter. And um, they came in year after year, three, four years in a row, to just stand by my side and, what do you need, what do you need? And I told them what to say and then they would say it or they, they just got in there and helped out. And her, her senior year, they ended up being one of the families in need and they ended up being my family. The face of poverty, the face of um, hunger could be the person sitting next to you in the classroom.
looking at the big picture could be overwhelming. So don't. Focus on a single family instead. By the end of October, you should select the size of the family you'd like to help. So you could spend November getting a list of your family's wishes and fundraising. And then, fundraise some more. By the time middle of December rolls around, you'll have your presents purchased and wrapped. Ready to be handed to the family at dinner.